question eight. So the first thing that we want to do here is we can say what the roots are. So it'd be just useful just to think, well, that point there, that's zero, just there. We also know it goes through minus two, and we know it's going to go through there at four. Right? That's what that tells us there. So what are we being asked to do? Show that the exact area of this is going to be equal to 20 over three. So just forget that we know the answer for a minute. Like, What's the question? Well, we're being asked to integrate from minus two to zero. And and this thing just here. So that's what the question actually is. So it's just worth writing that down. There we go. Right, um, probably the easiest thing to do is just to multiply this out. So if you multiply this out, you get x cubed, take away 2x squared, um, take away 8 x. I've sort of jumped a little bit there just because I did it myself a minute ago. There we go. Right, now let's integrate this. So if I integrate the first term, that's there. And then minus 2x squared over 3. Whoops, that should be a 3. Nearly made a mistake there. And then take away, and it's going to be 8x squared over 2. Well, that's just going to be 4, isn't it? Let's make our life a little bit easier. And then remember, we're just going to pop in 0 and minus 2. So if I pop in 0 here, obviously I'm going to get 0 as my answer. Yeah. And then we're going to take away. Now I'll just pop in minus 2 into everything. So minus 2 to the power of 4 over 4. That's going to give you 4. And then we're going to have minus 2 in here. So it's minus 8 times 2. So that's actually going to be plus 16 over 3. And then this one, that'd be a positive. So, yeah, it's going to be a minus, minus 16. Um, and if I work this bit out here, that's going to give me, well, 4 take away 16. That's obviously, that's going to be 16 over 3 minus 12. Remember, we're taking away that. And that lot equals 20 over 3, which is, aha! All right, that's what we are after. Great. Okay, next part of the question. So it says the region R2, also shown shaded. Yep. It's bounded by the curve. Okay. All right, so the question is we got to work out what this B thing is, okay? Um, actually, if you look down at the question, it's saying we, we need to prove this thing here. We need to show that it's this. So what it's asking us to do, I think I'm going to need a little bit more room for this. I might just I can try and squeeze my question just up here, right? Remember, you've got lots more room on yours, all right? But basically, we've been asked to integrate from 0 to B, this expression just here. So we've got x cubed minus 2x squared minus 8x dx. Now, we know the answer but it's below the x-axis. So it's going to be, it's the same as this. So it's actually going to be minus. So it's equal to minus 20 over 3. Yeah, let's make sure we've got a nice clear minus there. Right. So if we just forget about that just for a second, let's integrate this and pop in the b's as we go. So that's going to give us x over 4. Take away 2x cubed over 3. I'm just using my previous answer. So it saves me doing everything again. B and 0. And remember, we know it's equal to minus 20 over 3 because it's below. Right. If we pop B into this, we're going to get B4. Take away 2B cubed over 3. Take away 4B squared. And then when I put in the zero, that's going to be take away zero. And the whole lot's equal to minus 20 over 3. 
And if I, I think the easiest thing to do is if I just go and multiply everything here by 12 all the way across, right? Uh, it's just going to get rid of these horrible denominators. And then I'm going to add this to both sides as well. So I'm going to get like minus 80 there. I'm going to add it to both sides. And if I do that, I end up with minus 8b cubed, take away 48b squared plus 80 equals 0. Now, OK, um, the question has asked me to make it look like this. So that's suggesting that b plus 2 must be a root of what we've got. So if we know that b plus 2 is a, is, is a, is a factor, sorry, um, we could substitute in minus 2 and, uh, and just show that that's correct. Then we could do a long division here. I'm, I'm not going to do long division here. But if you were to divide through by b plus 2 twice, you should get this figure just here. Okay. Now, to get all the marks, I would show that step. All right. So actually do this part of the question just to make sure that you get all of the marks there and just do a long division. All right. Like I said, I'm not going to do it now. Um, so I do that and then do it again, and then you'll show that uh, you've got b plus 2. Obviously, it's going to go into that twice, and then it should, your answer should be that bit just there. All right, the last bit of the question. The roots of the equation, um, so we can see here, it's telling me, wait a minute, this one here. So this is that b one, all right? That's that one just there. But weirdly, it's giving this other number just here. And it's saying the value would be there for three. Explain the significance of that other value. So let's have a look. Well, what it's actually, so 5.4, if we look at the diagram, you know, that's like over here somewhere, isn't it? So remember, when you integrate, we're actually looking to see what's the same as this. But remember, you've got here, you've got some below the line and some above the line. So what this point is here is it's all of this. And if you imagine taking off this bit, right, you've actually, you just need to get this bit needs to be the same as that bit just there. Because I've got to get this whole thing this whole thing here to be the same as this bit over here. In order to do that, it's going to be this part here. And if we take away this bit, and the difference is this part here. That's what I want to be left with. So these two parts are the same. The easiest thing to do is just like to label it like 1 and 2 and then say 1 equals 2. That's the easiest way.